I have salutations. This is something thoughtful. Welcome back to to some more Let's Play. Super Mario Galaxy. Except we're playing as Luigi because Luigi. Because I like him more. I, anyway, I'm while I'm waiting to get past this wrist strap screen, um, which I am wearing. I'm not using the jacket because screw the jacket. Um, that was kind of rude, but um. As I was saying, I'm not. Uh, I I know this game can be done in widescreen. Also, lots of Luigi's apparently. I know. Yeah, I know this can be done in widescreen, but I'm not going to because, well, for one, I can't, and for two, um, it'll look worse, slightly quality-wise, even though it's got the right aspect ratio. Still, anyway, um, this is actually a re-recording, unfortunately, because um. My recording blew up, so we get to do good egg again. Jeez. Seems like it's the only galaxy we do sometimes, but that's okay. Because it isn't, clearly. Anyway, let's do King Caliente's Battle Fleet. Which should be fun. Because, yeah, I don't even know why, but it's going to be fun. So let's go. Welcome to the galaxy. Um, if you're good at things, you can run. And um, I'm not good at things apparently right now, so I'm gonna try again. But if you're good at things, you can you cannot screw it up twice in a row. You can do that, and then that, and then you're up here, and then you can continue along and skip the planet completely. Basically, you have to go through that pipe house I've already shown before. So basically, all I really skipped is a bonus. Anyway, it's a toad. Hi, toad. You're going to teach me things. Namely, that these spiky things don't like coconuts. So you can kill them with coconuts if you have accuracy, which I didn't there. But the one we actually care about is obviously this giant one with the coconut right next to it that I kicked away because I don't even know. Because I'm not the greatest at controlling this thing. But anyway, we're going to continue on to this planet. Uh, in the last, I'm, I'm kind of hoping for better in this part than the last time, because in the last one, King Caliente was like the greatest me just failing at killing a boss ever. Anyway, we want to kill this thing, and we will get a star for it. But I'm also going to kill a Goomba, because I am hurt. Which I am failing at. There we go. I killed him, so I can get a coin to heal. So let's move on, shall we? I haven't been like, collecting any star, but anyway, there is a bonus on this planet if you just don't get absorbed and just launch star immediately. You can go down this pipe into the weird planet inside type place where you can get this to get a star man. Rainbow star or whatever they want to call it. It's a star man. Let's be serious here. Anyway, kill all these Goombas. To get their star bits, that was a brown one, which means it didn't give me star bits. Anyway, hey, can I seriously, like, if you can land on this pipe, which does take considerable amount of skills, then you can have a chance to um, kill the chomps and get star bits from them. But anyway, let's continue on to what seriously reminds me of the a planet from a later level in the game with a rather easy me almost getting hit by a chomp. Okay, me getting hit by a chomp because I can see what I was doing. So let's just kind of long jump over that. Never thought you'd see the day where you could use a long jump for height, did you? Anyway, if we can just avoid all these things, it'd be great. These guys in the second game will, um, they'll basically shoot rocks at you, but in this game only the stronger versions of them do. I like to call them the, um, Octo... Rock Goomba things. I think their actual name is Octoombas or something like that. Anyway, suddenly we're on an airship. So obviously, hey, it's a toad. Should we rescue the toad? I think we can be a nice guy and rescue the toad. Yeah, might as well. Do you have anything to say? Eh, yeah, you do. Basically, suddenly we're fighting Aganum. Yeah. Any other toads worth rescuing here? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's... Oh, 
Oh yeah, double Aghanim kill. That's what you get for getting those clones, Aghanim. Makes it easier to hit since they only shoot the attack that we can hurt you with. Anyway, in here, the sparkly box is a mushroom. As per usual, mushrooms make you taller. Well, okay, they don't make you taller, but they um, give you an extra hit. And by an extra hit, I mean double your life. Although certain things will still insta-kill you. Anyway, let's see if I can side flip up here, because I want to side flip up here for no apparent reason, because there's nothing up here for me. So let's move on and break all of these boxes. Because I was half expecting there to be a toad in that last one. For some reason. Anyway, as you can see, these guys really aren't a threat. So let's just destroy them and then continue onwards. Yay! And so here we are on the boss planet, actually. Let's see if I can get to the boss. Yep. Here he is, Agnum, except he's an octopus now. A lava octopus. Because clearly that's what Agnum is. Anyway, as per usual, you just have to do dodge some blue ball, multi ball attack and then hit back the regular one. And it will damage him and, and he'll shoot out Starbits for some reason. And then he's going to shoot the blue attack again. But then he'll shoot the coconut again. Except for some reason he hit the coconut back. What is this? Yeah, it's more like. I don't even know. By the way, this is where he gets hard because he uses the lightning attack. Which is very annoying. And then you have to hit him three more times. Which I, of course, do first try this time. Last time that the fight took me forever. It was pathetic. Anyway, I guess I should show off the fact that... Um, yeah, why not? Lava is not an insta-kill in this game. So I'd show that off. And do that for some reason. Anyway, here's our star. Let's go grab it. And get out of here. He's like, basically only been doing this galaxy, it pretty much feels like. Well, what can you do? We are done with it for now. See, we pretty much are done with it for quite a while. I might... Go back to it early at one point in the game for one reason, but that's like super far off place. Oh, there's a hungry Luma. I don't think I can afford it yet because I kind of know how much it is. But that's okay, it's not important. It's only very important. Anyway. We still oh we oh yeah, we did unlock a new galaxy, I was gonna say. Yay, we can go here to the flip of the galaxy, which is going to take the no time at all. All, yeah. I actually managed to almost die on this in the last corner, which was pathetic. I'm doing a lot better on this recording so far, in case you haven't noticed. But like, the way I almost died was the most pathetic. Basically, what did the last hit of the to me that almost that left me with one? If I hadn't grabbed the coin, I would have died. But it was the most, it was the stupidest thing. Anyway, you want to um, kind of just stop here. Wait for this guy to get out of your way, and then long jump over here, and just kind of do that, and you're good. Now the only thing is, you do have to deal with them, Luigi's traction if you're playing as him, which is unfortunate, but it's worth it because he's Luigi. Anyway, there we go. There's our star. Yeah, I actually managed to get hit by that red thing now, like on the way back when he was stopped, and he wasn't even stopped like blocking a square like this. It's Kind of bad. Unfortunately, I almost just long jumped off the edge. But I didn't, so we're good. And so we continue onwards. Because we are done with that galaxy forever. Yeah, that's the entire galaxy. All of it. Isn't that great? We got ourselves a star. So we now have, um, eight. And we discovered the boss level, so we're gonna go there. I know I could do the um, hungry llama, but I don't want to do the hungry llama. Mainly because I don't even know if I have enough star bits yet. No, I don't. So we're not gonna do the hungry llama. We're gonna do the boss. Get him done and over with. Shoot right into his um cheek, apparently. Yeah, this is um Bowser Jr.'s 
Robot reactor, and we have to fight Mega Leg's moon. We don't have to fight Mega Leg. We have to fight his moon. Okay, we have to fight Mega Leg. You all knew that, though. I don't even know why I was saying that. Um, but we're gonna continue onwards and upwards and leftwards and rightwards and eastwards and southwards and wordswards. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Anyway, over here we find that this planet has a black hole in the middle of it. Fortunate someone built this around it so that it's safe. Anyway, um, basically you have to take this bullet bill shooter thing and, um, kind of pull it in this direction until we can get it to blow this open for us. And we're on the boss. Like, I'm not even joking, we're on the boss. So, um, let's grab these star bits so I can afford the next one, assuming I don't accidentally shoot them with the B button, which you can. In case I haven't mentioned that, because I don't think I've done it yet, except for to feed Lumas. You can use it to stun enemies and stuff. Anyway, we now have to fight Mega Lake on his moon. And he can shake the entire planet. Now we have to fight this thing, which is probably the easiest boss. To, like, I would hardly consider him a boss. He just kind of reminds me of Shadow of the Crosses in a way, but, um, yeah. We're already, I'm um, done with the boss, like, that part of the boss, pretty much, unless I managed to fall off, which I didn't. I'm up. And so we just have to take this bullet bill and kind of guide it into that. So he's just have to destroy that glass now, except this fence is a lot harder to destroy because it will respawn. So the best thing to do is just kind of glide one bullet bill up and I didn't do it right. Okay, well let's try and just guide it fine. So I get for trying to do it the right way. Come on, cannon, shoot. Cannon? I guess you don't shoot him enough I'm in front of the eye. Anyway, what we want to do is just get him to do that. Basically, he's a really easy boss if you can just get the bullet bill to go over the fence. Trying to get it to go through the fence is actually rather difficult. So, giant explosion happens, and, um, because we're Luigi, we're perfectly fine, of course. Is there anything on this planet, even? Like, it's kind of a weird planet, really. This is like the unfinished side of it. I don't know. It's longer than I expected, actually, the planet. Anyway, we got ourselves none other than a grand... Sorry, I kind of wanted to let Luigi say that there. I, I know I said grand way too early, but whatever. Anyway, with this, we unlock another world, actually. Yay! More levels. Which is good, because... Well, the first one is good. The second one's not my favorite level in the game. Actually, most of the levels aren't my favorite level in the game. Actually, I, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not sure what my favorite level in the game is. I'd have to think about that. But regardless, there's some fun things here. So we're going to go here. Because we have time to do another star. Anyway, we've discovered a new galaxy... So we'll go there. Anyway, um, there's the beacon. It's a star, and it has gotten hotter. It went from red to kind of an orangey yellow, which is which is hotter in Spectre classes, assuming it's on the main sequence. Well, it's hotter regardless, but it's hotter and brighter, assuming it's on the main sequence, which I would imagine it is. You, on the other hand, are a brown dwarf or something. I don't even know what type of star you're supposed to be. Like, what are you like? A Dark Star Luma? Wouldn't, wouldn't that make you evil? I mean, like, I apologize if that came out sounding racist, but, like, it's a black star. What are most black stars in the Merido universe? I don't know. Reminds me of, like, the Zadar or whatever the heck it is in, like, the Mario games that aren't inside story where it actually gets a decent name. Anyway, let's completely go the wrong way and then um try again because we are insane it's not working I am going to pull this off 
I don't care if I have the worst camera angle. There we go. I wanted to go over here. So I could go over here because I'm wasted the most time getting here to the point where I don't even know if I have time to do this level anymore. But I'm going to anyway. Actually, yes, I'm going to anyway, even though I wasted time to get here. We're going to take on the Space Junk Galaxy. Okay, I thought this was going to be a different galaxy. I'm going to have to not waste all of the time doing this one. Which is okay. Pull star path. I'm going to not be an idiot and waste all the time on this one. But we'll do it. We'll do it. So. Welcome to the Space Junk Galaxy. This is just like where they just put like random objects and made it a level. Like seriously, let's go down here and um, gather, gather some star bits. And then pull star ourselves forward in the level. Because that's what we do. This might be a longer episode because I um, don't have anything to cut out. And I just kind of started the level at 15 minutes. But that's okay because I felt like I wasted the last like 2 minutes anyway. Anyway, don't do that. That doesn't help you go farther. Do that, apparently. As I just kind of like grab where future ones are going to be anyway. Now we want to um gather these star chip things so we can um this is like one of the more um, annoying mechanics but basically so we can like you know launch star off of here probably it's probably launch star it can be a sling star but no it's an all launch star so we're gonna launch ourselves over here apparently through some crystal which we can get some star bits from anyway. This isn't from Pikmin. No, it clearly isn't. Because this chip, if it was a man in space, wouldn't it be the gold version? Because the game was beaten? Or is this canonically in the universe where the game wasn't beaten? I don't even know. But you want to basically pull yourself to these pole planets, star planet planets. Anyway, thanks for leaving me with, like, the greatest view game. I really appreciate it. Anyway, once you get here, you can kind of do this, and then this, and then this, and then sometimes you can just do this. It's actually rather often, it seems. I've, like, never had problems doing that. Anyway, I'm just going to kind of, like, run by these guys, and... Oh, no, Toadbird, I'll save you! Okay, there I Oh, he lost his glasses again. How can you be told Bert now? You don't have your glasses. Ah, uh, whatever. You want to just basically free all these toads. And then... This will happen. There will be a... Space... Shroom... 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 To go to. Anyway... Don't be an idiot like me and, um... Ow. Basically, you want to continue up here and not fall off this and launch star, sling star up here to where the star is. Except it's silver stars. Yay. So we're going to go over here and go and grab all these stars. Yay. And I'm just going to kind of madly jump into the void. Yay. As I survive being completely insane and like trying to. Okay, this is the insanity part that I'm gonna do right now. Wow, that worked. I I was totally not calling that working. That was epic. I I really didn't expect that to work. Anyway, now we just have to go back there. Um, might as well continue being insane. And not showing this section off properly at all. Okay, I'm just gonna do it normally from here. Well, I I did that planet pretty crazily, I think. But um, with that, we're almost at 20 minutes. So um, I'll see you next time for more of this. Bye. I have sign out.